Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Ganky, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to get to the beach on only $15. Step numero uno. Manual labor. <laughs> this is my bike. If you're wondering why there's a bag on this seat, bought a new seat, it was a used seat, ruined my pants, they want to ruin another pair of pants. How am I going to figure this out until next week? Because the bike shop is closed until Friday. And I'm like, let's put a bag on our seat, get ganky. Anyway, let's go. Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Thorn in my sandals. Ah! All right, we got to go. We got to go. Go figure that the one day that I wear sandals, <laughs> there's a thorn in my driveway. Yo, YouTube, this is that step 1.5 because if you're going to take the bus, you should check the bus times. Now for me, I'm really journey focused, I'm not that worried about the destination, so I just go. I know the bus is going to come every hour, so I just go and if I make it in time, that's great. If I don't make it in time, that's even better because my camera only has 23% battery right now. I forgot to charge it last night. But because the bus comes at 9.56 and it is currently 9.14, I have my charger with me, I get to charge my camera and play some piano before I go to the beach, which is super sweet. When you're journey focused, you can always find something to do that's gonna get you ganky. It's gonna ramp you up to your destination, which is really cool. The bus is here, yes! I'm so excited, thank you! Oh, thank you! Oh, I was on time! Oh my wow, so great! So great, look at that, look at that beautiful bus right there. Oh my wow, what a gorgeous 24 bus. YouTube, look at what I just found in my sandals. Only it could, it could, it could focus. It's a thorn! But because I'm on the bus, I got to pluck it out. Get ganky. Also, YouTube, since you're on the bus, you don't have to focus on like driving. You can just sit down and get to work. And something I would it's recommend getting to work on is sending messages to all your friends. Now me, I'm definitely the message sender amongst all the people that I've ever met in my life. But I forget to send messages all the time because you know people are busy and you get busy and you forget to maintain relationships. But the bus is the perfect place just go into your phone, check all your messages, send out some, hey, been a long time, want to reconnect with you, how you doing, give me a status update, kind of messages to reconnect with those people that you've met in your life. Awesome, the bus is phenomenal. Yahoo YouTube, just got off the bus, it's around 10.54 right now. We know for a fact when the next bus comes, and that's at the top, at the, the first 10 of every hour. I don't know how to say, I want to say the top of the hour at the 10, but I don't know how to say it. It comes at 11.10, <laughs> let's just leave it there. Comes at 11.10. Before we go there though, we want to get some meal supplements. So we're going to get some vitamin water over at our handy dandy. 7-Eleven. I spy with my little eye. Some vitamin water. Vitamin water. All right, guys. We have a bunch of flavors here today. I recommend the cool blueberry lavender. What does lavender taste like? I don't know. Well, I do know because I tasted it before, but I can't explain it. But I recommend this one. All right, YouTube. It's time for a very serious travel update. I was so ganky that when I got off the bus, I forgot to take my bike 
off the bus. I went to 7-Eleven to buy vitamin water and a protein cookie, and I was walking back to the bus station, and I remembered that I forgot my bike on the bus, and I panicked. <laughs> Talk about a panic moment. Talk about a small-scale panic moment. And here is how I prevented myself from Panic King. I saw an officer. I went to the Metro Rail Station, talked to one of the officers there, told him my predicament. He made a call, was trying to get more information. He was asking me what the bus number was. I had caught the bus number on one of my YouTube videos. We were busy watching a YouTube video together. And then in the distance, I saw the same 24 bus with my bike on it. So I ran really, really, really fast over to that 24 bus. I looked at the bus driver, I was like, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I said, praise Jesus, because Jesus definitely saved my butt there. And I got my bike. And look, this is my bike. It's right here. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because I never, ever, ever want to make this mistake again. So I have to ask you guys to keep me accountable. <laughs> hey, Genki. Yaho, YouTube. I just got off my second bus. That was step two. Totally forgot to be talking about steps along the way. But step two is take the bus to where you need to go. And in our case, we had to take two buses to get to Kibis Cane, which is the beach we're trying to go to today. It was really cool because I was like getting my bike, but I was like so frazzled. I was getting my bike and I was like talking to the bus driver. I was like, yo, I'm sorry, I'm not a tourist. I'm not a tourist, I live here. And she didn't smile at me the whole bus ride beforehand. But then when I was leaving, she smiled at me. And I thought that was just really cool because if you talk to people, if you say something funny, if you try to brighten up their day, make them smile, you just increase the value for everyone. And that's why it's so important to just be talking, to be thinking, to be doing stuff that you want to do. Because when you do stuff you want to do and you are who you want to be, you can create meaningful experiences. Get Genki. Yaho, YouTube. We're about to go get a cup of coffee. And you might be thinking to yourself, why does this guy need a cup of coffee? Well, it's a part of my daily routine since I do intermediate fasting. Coffee is a primo meal supplement in that it curbs your appetite, gives you natural caffeine, and allows you to sustain hours without hunger. So let's go, let's get Genki. Super cool. Yeah. And what do you got? What do you, what do you, no guys and girls, what do you ladies and gentlemen, it sounds weird, but no, cool. what do you think about the power of positive thinking? I think it's, I think it's fantastic. And I think that what I struggle with is sometimes uh, the whole positivity thing that people push mm -hmm. is a little bit like low resolution, mm -hmm. the way people talk about it. Um, it's just thinking positive. And I think that there's a lot of value to that, but I think it's a good idea to dig deeper in your thinking mm -hmm. about that. The way you put it earlier, when we first, you put it, it was yeah. within the first 30 seconds of meeting you, yeah. um, positivity Pretty over pitch. time. Yeah. Yeah, like I love that. Making it a making positivity a routine, and over time, that will um, it becomes a it, habit. It will become a habit in yeah. your life. It'll become a consistent expression of who you are, and it'll become easy. Yeah. So it seems like you've been probably doing it long enough that you've been able to develop s some habitual, you know, um, expressions around that. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you. ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. It's a lady, it sounds so weird. Guys and that's, that's, that's like once that becomes a habit, the ladies and gentlemen. It won't sound weird anymore. Yeah, it won't sound weird anymore. It'll feel like it just flows right off your tongue. Look at that. You heard it straight from James and Christina. Yaho! Bye bye! Bye! This is my upgraded camera. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is 6500, yeah? 6500. Alright, cool. yeah. with a windshield wiper attached to it. Yeah, or um, as they call it in the movie business, the dead cat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> Yaho, YouTube. It's around 3 o'clock, and I just finished up at Starbucks. As you can see, a lot of stuff happened, and we're finally on our way to the beach. I kind of started this video out as a challenge. I wanted to see if I could get to the beach in under $15. But as the day went by, 
I started to realize that it really wasn't about the money. The money was just the challenge. And note, if it's solely traveling costs, you can get to the beach in under $15, taking the public bus system. If you factor food into the equation, it might get a little pricey. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm a very journey-oriented person. It's not so much about the destination for me, it's more about the journey. Because if I can have fun during the journey, the destination is only gonna be so much better when I actually get there. But we are gonna make it to the beach in $15.50. Get Genki. Like I said, YouTube, it's really not about destination. It's about the journey. There's only really two steps you need to take the journey. You need to have that desire to go somewhere. And if that desire crosses with manual labor, like riding a bike, then that's that. And you need to have mobility. Mobility is really, really critical here. For me, my two legs, my bike, are good enough for me to have some mobility. And yeah, YouTube, we just finished our challenge. What was important is that we challenged ourselves. So that's my challenge for you. Challenge yourselves to do something. Because you'll be surprised. The more you challenge yourself, the more you continually want to go out and do something, the more consistently you'll be able to rise to the occasion and overcome those self-doubts about what you can or can't do. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. It would really help me out. Subscribe to the channel. I really want to get to 100,000 by the time I'm 25. Leave a comment. I love sharing my positive energy with you in the comments. I'll definitely reply back. And most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.